Developing this evening, it's official. Arizona State Treasurer Kimberly Yee is running for governor in 2022. The former state senator making the announcement today and making it clear she is a Trump Republican. Team 12's Joe Dana shows us. Yee still has not acknowledged the outcome of the 2020 presidential election six months later. State Treasurer Kimberly Yee is highlighting her allegiance to former President Trump in hopes of eventually gaining the most powerful seat in the state. I'm running for governor to put Arizona first. A video released by Kimberly Yee Monday hits issues that matter to hardline Republicans like business growth and border security. I'll continue President Trump's fight to secure our southern border. The video also shows how Yee has evolved. Yee, once considered an advocate of First Amendment freedoms for journalists, takes a swipe at the news media. Our way of life is under attack by the corrupt press. And Yee repeatedly makes it clear she's solidly behind Trump. President Trump's America First agenda had our economy booming. In fact, since the election, Yi remains the highest ranking state official not to publicly accept the election's outcome, refusing to take a stand or respond to our interview requests, even after the deadly insurrection in Washington, D.C. We've been trying to get a hold of her for the past couple of weeks or longer, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's not in today. A lie can be effective politics for a while, but it won't, it won't serve our democracy well. John Carlson and Tracy Pheasanton are co-directors of the Recovering Truth Project at ASU, a nonpartisan research group. Should it matter, and if so, why, that someone like Kimberly Yee in her position running for governor won't comment on whether she accepts the legitimacy of the 2020 presidential election? Joe, I'd say first, the fact that you are asking the question shows that our uh, political reporting, I think, has shifted in a healthy way. I think the fact that uh, Ms. Yee has made a calculated decision not to answer this question shows that she is taking account of a number of factors, uh, including uh, her prospects for fundraising. And I go back to the concept that uh, democracy rests on truth. And if you have a leader who aspires to lead others in a democracy and have trouble acknowledging basic realities, you're going to have trouble uh, leading. Carlson and Fezzetin predict Republican leaders like Yee will hurt the party in the long run by not acknowledging the truth. But the short term could be profitable for Yee in a world where one recent poll over the weekend showed the majority of Republicans don't believe Joe Biden was the legitimate winner.